Hey you, hi, welcome back to a new BTV. Sometimes I don't really like wearing my glasses because you can see like the reflection, but it is what it is. So today I'm literally, uh, I'm in a spiritual space of just knowing for a fact things have changed externally. So I know for a fact internally as far as my own spiritual growth, my own physical growth, my own mental growth, things have changed as well. Due to the simple fact that a lot of the things that I, knew for a fact was already old and outdated and wasn't working especially when it comes to a circumstance a situation with people person parties i'm no longer giving my energy towards those things that used to take my energy like i used to give my energy to things that was just like irrelevant things that were not putting me in a prosperous space and now me being the observer i'm observing whatever it is i want to actually give my energy to and it could be a conversation, a, um, a social media post, somebody else's remark. I don't care what it is. I'm really noticing that I'm now absorbing my own energy. And I want to use it for my own. I'm not I, my own self, okay? Like, you know, I'm, it, like, if something's not working, it's just not working. Like, how can I every day get up, know I'm in a witchcraft and ritual world that's practicing all kind of stuff and seeing externally routines, patterns being played out. It comes to my children having to get up to go to school. The, um, the um, what is this? The, the um, Gregorian calendar. My day-to-day -day routine from my nutrition to what I participate in to what I do on my leisure time to how I make money to everything. So it's just like if these things is in the same constant routine and pattern, <clears throat> if these things that I'm keeping on routine and pattern as far as like what I just already broke down, imagine the other things as far as whatever it is I'm paying attention to, what I'm giving my energy to, what I'm giving thoughts and feelings to, what I'm like really evidently manifesting in my own circumstance situation, my own space, my own circle, my own circumference that I'm the observer observing. Like, I know today the sun is in Aquarius and Miss Moon is in Virgo. So this is us working on wanting to associate or disassociate ourselves with individuals or groups of individuals. And me, I'm just in a spiritual space where even when it comes down to those things, I've seen a post recently on social media that said, like, if you ain't got no friends, I guess you're the problem. But what you start realizing externally, it's a lot of childlike mind spirits out here. It's a lot of, like, spirits that's not ready to expand their wisdom and knowledge, their mind, their moral system, their virtues, their principles, their reason about going about certain things. It could come to their responsibilities, their duties and obligations, you know, things that they have created or want to accumulate for themselves when it comes to material. And it's just like, I'm no longer in that space of like pandering to certain things. Like, I don't give a fuck about, I just don't care about certain things anymore, you know? And it's a really good thing. It also come with, of course, you know, me having to separate myself from other spirits and vessels that's just not on the same wavelength as me. And again, it's fine because I know where I see myself as CA. I'm in a current, I'm in a water wave, this whole big body of water that I live in every day is not the same. So for me to know that it's like, hey, you know, it is what it is. Like I'm just going with the flow, riding these shifts and not missing a current, that's it. And again, like I said, when Miss Moon is at, and then I told y'all the other day when Venus is at in Capricorn, it's just, this is the time right now for everybody to be standing on business. And if you're not standing on business, what is you really doing? Procrastinating, prolonging, looking for somebody to validate you, relying on some codependency in, um, energy? For what? Uh, like a lot of spirits externally is deflecting and they're not even realizing that they're deflecting and they're calling it reflecting. Like... What is you really doing in your leisure time? How you know for a fact you can go outside and naturally things just begin to flow. Like whatever space you in. Because all of us, if we start being observant and realize, okay, I'm in this space of like prosperity, abundance, uplifting energy, good vibrations, good, good synchronicity, clairvoyance. Externally, you start seeing these things play out where it's like everybody that you participate with in whatever event, like going to the grocery store, going to the gym, going to the gas station, you know, waiting in um, traffic. These spirits are in the same space. And externally, I see it. I have patience. You know, I go, I have the, the know-how. So I always say, you know, because I do know. 
you know, externally, uh, not the spirit in the vessel, be like, no, I don't know, tell me. But spiritually, I know you know. You know, it's just sometimes we can't even break certain things down using this words. Like, we can't use oral tradition and expect for us to just know. Like, you understand what I'm saying, but it's like a spiritual thing first, so you gotta tap into the subconscious room before externally you play it down here in the conscious room, and it's like, oh, I get the metaphor behind whatever it is that you're saying. Like, riding certain ships. We in a water cycle. Like you can you know when a spirit externally is having like a, a gloomy day, a blue day, you know, a down day, a, a you know, a stormy weather. Like why we mention these metaphors if it's not what we experience spiritually first. So <clears throat> that's what space I'm in. I'm realizing I'm just in a whole different shift. Like and I'm just I'm okay with being my true higher self. Like it is what it is. I got two sons. One, like, I ain't even in a, a quick rush, but before I know it, I'm going to have my freedom. Like, so I'm just making things make sense. Like, you know, I, I plan on expanding. I, I plan on, like, you know, having some money in, you know, my pocket for him and just, like, what? Like, and if it's not working, I'm, I'm, what? If it's not, if it haven't been working, why I keep repeating the same thing? You know? So, here it is. We're going into February in a couple of days because today is January 28th. And when February gets here, I'm super excited because I'm going to be in the space of not eating meat. I already started practicing it now. Like, I like doing certain things ahead of time just so when the day come, I'm already, like, got all the the, doctors, uh, the desires out of it and the need to, oh, uh, you know, I try again. All that is already done and over with. So, I've been eating, like, carrots and zucchini and spinach and kale having more fruits and vegetables salmon tilapia broccoli peas like i don't even give it a damn i don't give a damn anymore about the taste of the food like it's just me knowing i need certain things in order for my vessel this spaceship that i keep giving life this is death all this is dead, dead blood cells all this all this all my hair all the skin my cuticle all this is dead blood cell but i keep constantly giving life to it so if i know that why don't i just give it some good life you know like why not why like why why do you think in a couple of years i actually want to see my body start deteriorating um far as its bone structures and stuff before i actually start to deteriorate no i'm good and like yesterday i just know for a fact it's like higher subconscious predecessors and stuff is like really trying to let me know everything first happens spiritually before it comes down here and play into this realm of reality that I'm on a whole different ship like I've been seeing different birds just like literally in my space like I'm passing by a bird normally they'll fly away no this one is standing still on the fence just looking at me I'm looking at it I'm turning my head it's turning this and I'm like wow like this the space I'm in like I had a bird the other day I'm sitting on the porch with my dog and just flew from the staircase came stand stood right there then it, i had my plants out in the front by the rail so it stood between the rail and i'm surprised ginger ain't like you know they kind of be all like ain't seen. so i was just surprised that the, the bird did not just like fly away or you know do anything weird i even showed my son like three birds came and sat on the window center when i was having breakfast i saw mr blue jay we still in winter we're in a fixed portion of winter we're in aquarius season right now and it's just like, you know, and for me to know the um, <clears throat> the archetype of Aquarius, the man controlling the water, so that's the thought controlling the emotions. Now I just see phys subconsciously how my masculine thoughts is controlling my emotions. Like I'm no longer in the space of like feeling like I'm finna feel guilty about not picking up the phone or not doing this. Or not. I'm not, I I'm not giving nobody no unwanted energies. I don't give a damn how it look externally. Like, I don't care. Like, I know I'm supposed to, I'm already in the space of what it is that I deserve. And externally, I can have whatever it is that I actually want. Just like um, Cat Williams said, I can have whatever it is that I want. But sometimes God will, like, literally not put you in that space to get what you deserve because you got other spirits around you that will start leeching and attaching themselves to you only for that desire. And if you're a good, higher spirit, you know, that care about others and have a good heart and stuff, you might just give all your gems and pearls away and stuff and be walking around empty-handed about coulda, shoulda, woulda, damn, da -da. That's why people hit the lottery. They don't, they don't call that, man. No, I'm... And you know when you hit the lottery, you need a house. Otherwise, you ain't getting all that money. So, it just be so funny. 
how this realm of reality plays out. But I don't plan on, I didn't plan on staying here this long. I just wanted to talk to y'all today about just the space that I'm in spiritually. Like the other day I woke up and I just feel a different feel. Like it's a wonderful feeling. Like it's just a wonderful feeling to just know spiritually I am growing and externally I see this being played out. Like with my plans, with my intellect, with the way of thinking, with my emotions, with how I go about certain things, with what I pay attention to, what I want to give my energy to, to the type of spirits I want to be around. Like it's just all that stuff really do matter. Like keeping your car clean and being in a high octave space with just like decluttering your space and organizing it. All that plays a big role in where you are mentally. And this has everything to do with what you're really paying attention to because you're giving your esoteric currency to it and why why you want to be paying attention to bullshit if you don't want bullshit in your fucking life you don't want shit walking around you stepping in shit and you smelling shit all kind of weird shit you ever had shit before you ever started shitting like what no i'm good i don't want none of that shit i don't want horse shit i don't want dog shit i don't want i don't want cat litter shit with a bunch of stick i'm good I'm good. Like, I done smelled my own shit. I know what I need to clean up in my esoteric hall of America. I done cleaned out my esoteric houses. And I mean, all houses, all 12 of them, all the astrological houses. I cleaned them out. Hey, it is what it is. If it's something, it look like, oh, she by herself, or she ain't got no friends, so she bad by. It is what it is, okay? Because there's a lot of child like my spirits out here. They even make it hard for people to get into relationships. Like, people really just be. People just be out for themselves, you know, and yeah, I'm, I need God to continue to keep using me as a vessel. I want to carry out and continue to keep carrying out God's duties. Like, I don't have any time at all to just be giving a demon some fucking power just because they a demon. Uh, no, I'm good, demon. I don't sit down some more. Like, we got, we all here, we all trying to figure it out. The world has changed, money has changed. You know, the way people construct their household, their finances, their way of living, everything has changed. If you missed a, cur a couple ships, that's cool. Just don't be going around looking for spirits to hold back and, and fuck all that. Move forward, okay? So, yeah, all right. I just spent a couple minutes, I'm about to get ready to go to the gym because it's a me versus me thing. Like. I ain't got no competition. It's just me versus me. I owe myself to see myself to be in a space where I already see myself subconsciously. Now it's time for me to pull that down and actually walk into it. And I can't fault nobody else if I don't get the fuck up because why ain't walking into it? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'll see y'all soon on the next Anima Bitch.